Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today I am in a remote location in Colorado to do some zero to 60 testing on our 10th generation Honda Accord. So recently, we installed the PRL Flex Fuel Kit. We tested out the K-Tuner's Ethanol Tune, the off-the-shelf tune, and then we just tested out the Faribault Stage 4. We took it to the dyno, and I have to say, I'm really impressed with this tune. If you haven't seen the video, please, I'll leave a link in the description below. Go take a look at it. But we are using the Faribault Stage 4 on ethanol. Our ethanol mixture is about 36% right now. I'll list the other mods we have on the car. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna test the zero to 60. I have to say that this is perfect weather for the turbo. It is 50 degrees, nice and cool, sunny day, dry pavement. However, it's 50 degrees and we still have our summer tires on. I want to get out and test it out while I still can. If you're interested in finding out what our zero to 60 times are, now that we're on the new Faribault Stage 4 ethanol tune, then stay tuned. So let's try something different. Today, let's test out launching in first gear versus second, brake torquing versus not brake torquing, usually we brake torque, and let's keep the vehicle stability control on, then we'll turn it off just by pressing the button, and then we'll do the full disable with the pedal dance, and we'll see what the zero to 60 times are with each one of those uh, changes and variables. I think that'll be fun to see. Ready? Oh, no brake torquing, that's right. Reset, ready, set. Okay, first gear. I've used this in the past, really easy to use, relatively speaking, inexpensive, very, very accurate. Um, I do recommend it. If you're gonna use it, make sure you do it in a safe, controlled place. Big disclaimer. Second gear, brake torque. It's so smooth, this tune. This tune is great. My K control numbers are not moving. They are rock solid at 0.49 each and every run. So this ethanol is working really well and the tune from Faribault uh, is working very well. I am really happy with how the car is performing. It feels smooth. Yes, a couple of these poles were losing a little bit of traction, uh, but that's to be expected. We got a lot of torque and a lot of torque relatively down low. And these summer tires, while they're good, while they're a huge improvement to the all seasons we have, uh, they're struggling at times just to hold on to that traction and get us going. But now we are gonna turn off the vehicle stability control not the brake pedal dance, just pressing the button. Here we go. Uh, 
All right, now we fully disabled the vehicle stability control. Second gear. Here we go. Ah, it's all over the place. It's all over the place. I was slipping all over. Second gear, brake torque. The fastest we have gone yet. Nice, nice, yes. I can't believe we just pulled a zero to 60 in under five seconds. So super excited about it. Um, I got so excited, I bit my lip. My lips started to bleed, but I think that's great. Uh, I, I want to keep going, but I think we've done enough for today. I don't want to push the car too, too much. I'm happy. I think that's the mic drop. That was incredible. I'm really happy with the zero to 60 times. I contribute a lot of it, not all of it, a lot of it to the Faribault Stage 4 tune. We are putting out some nice horsepower, nice torque, but I'm also going to contribute some of it to the beautiful weather, 50 degrees, dry. And yes, I know some of you are looking at these numbers saying that's not too incredible. You know what, for me, for us here in Colorado at high altitude with less oxygen, these are very good numbers. If you go back and look at some of the previous videos where we did some zero to 60 runs at different stages of modifying the car, you'll see that we've come a long way with this. So again, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. It's a great way to, I'm, I'm about to say end the season because it could snow tomorrow. Uh, I will be taking off the summer tires, putting back on the all season tires. That doesn't mean we're gonna stop here. Just means that maybe our track time and our zero to 60 testing may slow down a little bit. Well, the track time definitely will. But with that said, we are gonna continue moving forward. I'm not sure exactly what's coming next. I'm thinking about a custom tune, maybe. Let me know what you think. But if you have other thoughts of different modifications, let me know, put your comments below. With that said, I wanna thank you very much for joining and until next time.